The key to love is inside us all. It takes time and patience to unlock all ingredients. It is the continual learning process that demands a lot of work, but the rewards are more than worth the effort. And that is the key to love. I wasn't looking for love, but when I met you, I knew there was something special about you. You, Dan, are the kindest, most big-hearted person I know. You give the warmest hugs, you are fiercely protective of those you love, and you would drop everything for someone in need. It won't always be easy, nothing worth it ever is, but somehow, when I wasn't looking for love, I was lucky enough to find you, and I'm excited for our future. I vow to always be your partner and friend, to love you, to laugh with you, and to go on adventures and find the joy in life. I vow to be your wife, to cherish you, and love you, and make plans for the future and our family with you. One thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight days. One thousand nine hundred and sixty-eight days is how long we've been together. And I don't want to spend another day not being your husband. You have been a shoulder to cry on, an ear who will listen after a long day at work, a comforting hug, and my sassy lady. I look forward to the home we will build, the family we will start, and the countless pets we will own, and wherever life decides to take us to the next 70 years. I promise to love, cherish, and honor you forever. I love you, Rachel Nicole Campbell, soon to be Vlock, from day 1,968 to day 1 million. difficult to come up with words to describe the special relationship that Dan and Rachel share. I mean, they just get along that well and they always have. I remember uh, Dan talking to me about this funny, intelligent, kind woman that he met and uh, the first time I got to meet her and see them together, I understood why he was so excited. smart and considerate, plus your love of salsa. <laughs> and Dan, the mixologist, uh, who's funny and kind and enthusiastic. And you both, uh, who are such great hug givers. And all of these things have helped you build um, and grow during your time together, from long distance after school, and graduating and job changes, moving in together, COVID, and all within your first few years. Uh, and throughout all of those challenges and the good times and all of the times to come, you have both chosen and continue to choose to figure it out together. this moment in time. For you have learned much from one another in these last few years. Now, you shall say a few words that take you across a threshold of life, and things will never be quite the same between you two. For after these vows, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. I want to share some marriage advice to Rachel and Dan. Marriage takes a lot of hard work, dedication, compromise, and communication to work. Keep an open mind. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Love each other. 
for who you are, not for who you want them to be. Having a successful marriage is not finding someone you can live with, but finding someone you can't live without. And I think the two of you have found that. By the American Marriage Ministries and the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.